So here goes nothing. My first ever YouTube trucking video. A trucker in a truck, in a truck stop, qualifies as a trucking video, I guess. Anyways, uh, before I get into what this channel is for and what it's about, uh, I wanna give a shout out to Mr. Sinister and to Thor, who are two other night drivers that do uh, YouTube videos, or at least they're two of the ones that I found. I don't know if there's any more of you out there. If there are, point me to uh, your channels. But anyways, uh, make sure that you're sharing this video, you're liking it, you're subscribing to the channel, and that you're subscribing to Mr. Sinister's channel and Thor's channel at the same time. I'll put links to their channels in the description of this video. Now, the description of this channel, however, is completely different. I've noticed that a lot of the other drivers that do YouTube videos, they don't have enough time to answer everybody's questions. So this channel is basically gonna be information for uh, for whoever wants it and uh, it's gonna be uh, me answering your questions so whether you're a guy that's looking to come into the industry a driver that's been in the industry a driver that's gotten out of the industry whatever it is if you have a question ask it on Facebook ask it here on YouTube and uh, we'll get it included into a video if you can't wait for an answer make sure you go to the Facebook page to uh, Ruthless Grinders Team RG ask it there and someone will answer it right away uh, thank you to everyone who's added me on Facebook. Thank you to everyone that's already subscribed to the channel before there was even a video up. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, so let's get into it. The first question that I was asked today was about a uh, sleep apnea and a CPAP machine in combination with a truck. Now, having sleep apnea and being a driver, being able to sleep back here, I don't know. Uh, you'd probably have to talk to your doctor. The CPAP machine, if you do have sleep apnea. Oh yeah, and by the way, I lo love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Pilot coffee, I'm telling you, I can't live without it. I even buy it, making it at home. But anyways, the uh, CPAP machine, that question was answered by Thor, which is uh, on the Facebook page is where the answer is. Uh, but according to him, his brother had a, a, a CPAP machine on the truck. He was able to hook it up with an inverter, but had to leave the truck idling. So, you know, I, he recommended a few other companies. Go there for the full answer to the Facebook page, Team RG, uh, the Ruthless Grinders, and check it out. Um, another question that we had was from Aaron. He asked, how come certain night trucks uh, are passing him at 66? His is only doing 63, and he has a low idle time, and he knows the 66 mile an hour trucks have a high idle time. It's uh, depends on how much you idle versus how many miles you run. Therefore, it's your MPGs, I guess. That's my answer. But if your truck's not going fast enough, you need to talk to your shop manager or your terminal manager, and they can see about getting your truck turned up. I believe. Maybe Thor can help me out on this one, but I believe uh, I heard that company policy was 67 miles an hour was the highest, uh, which isn't too bad. You can do a recent uh, a recent mile count, 67 miles an hour. My truck is a 2015 International. Yeah, yeah, just got it. Uh, but it does 66. My previous truck was a 2010 International. It did 64 or 65. And my Volvo that I had before that did uh, 64 miles an hour, and, but it would only let me set the cruise at 63. I don't, I don't know. So um, let's see. There was a few other questions, but most of them were all answered on the Facebook page. Uh, but kind of what I wanted to say to everybody is this channel is going to be about common sense things, uh, things that I see and more importantly, everybody's questions. I want you to be able to ask a question and get a straight answer from somebody. I don't want somebody to sugarcoat things for you. I want you to know the truth, even uh, if it stings a little bit. So um, make sure you go to the Facebook page and ask your questions there. It's the quickest way for me to see them. Or uh, you can post them on YouTube or you can email me at little L I L 
Dog, D A W G, Little Dog Rollin, R O L L I N, at Gmail. And uh, I'll get them there too because I go straight to the phone. But, uh, oh yeah, step your game up. Polish your wheels. Keep your truck clean. Oh, keep your truck clean. You guys that have these YouTube channels that have tons of subscribers and stuff and you show the inside of your truck and there's crap everywhere, clean it up. You want to you wanna, you wanna, uh, be on YouTube and, and show off your truck? Set an example. Come on, man. Clean the floor. Put the stuff away that's in the cubby holes. Get things organized. And remember, your truck is a reflection of you. If it looks like crap on the outside, it makes you look like crap when you get out of it. And speaking of getting out of it, why are y'all wearing flip-flops at the fuel island? Explain that to me. You come out of the shower and you just get fuel? You just get fuel with the flip you get fuel with the flip-flops on. Why are you getting fuel with flip-flops on? Why would you do that? Are you going to take your sandals off and, and, and walk in a, in a horse stall? No. Put shoes on, goddammit. Wow. Anyways, until next time, I'm the little dog. Leave your questions, your comments, your concerns down there. You want to call the hotline, one 800 don't care uh just joking i do care but uh not really no. i do i do leave them leave your leave your comments below and uh your questions go to the facebook page later